Making a noise in this world Making a noise in this world You can bet your ass I won't go quietly Good afternoon, citizens from Daddy Justice here at the District Attorney's Office. I have a special alert to all you freedom fighters. When you run into Daddy Justice on the streets, here's what I want you to do. Shout out, everybody, shout out. Daddy Justice spreading around, shout out. Daddy Justice, shout out. The lion dogs are going down, shout out. The lion dogs are going down. Michael Goldberg and his organization, MidPen Legal Service, engage in systematic, wholesale, deliberate civil rights violations against thousands of fathers and children for decades. He collects and lives off the public and the charitable funds to promote the discrimination against men and fathers. A judge in Lancaster recently stated that he knows that MidPen helps to script the PFAs for women. I personally know from experience that they coach and suborn perjury from one after another on these silver bullets, as you know they're called. After all these years, Michael Goldberg didn't know that Wendy was lying. Interestingly enough, when I confronted Michael Goldberg recently in the courthouse and asked him, do you represent 97% women? Within a week, there was a front page article in the Lancaster newspaper, big puff piece, where they touted Michelle Goldstein from Midpen Legal Services and her representation of a father to get his children. I ask you, was that a token father? Can we get the percentages of fathers that they represent in custody, PFAs, and anything to do with separation and divorce? Is it 97% women and 3% men, even though obviously 50% each time? How's that work? Then there's this potential issue. The full Jimmy was a title assigned to an attorney at Midpen Legal Services many, many moons ago, decades ago. Did he give her the full Jimmy, they would say. Wendy personally told me that she dated Michael Goldberg. So I ask you, have they been dating these women who need their services? These women who come in, these victims? What's going on? Peace, love, and macrame. Tax dollars fly away. So I called Mid Penn and asked them the question. Secretary didn't know. I asked for the director, Jim Orgas. Left a message, didn't get back. I called back, asked for the website. Got this information. I'd read it to your mission statement and vision statement, but I think it's past your capacity for BS. This is the biggest crock of shit I've ever heard in my life. It is mine. But in there was the chairman of the board's phone number. So I called back and asked for him, or his number, and you know what, they don't know his number, they said. They sent me up to Harrisburg where I ended up with Rodiah Thomas's office, and her secretary doesn't know his number either. I asked them the question, I got no answer, left another message or two, got no answer. Well, yes I did, I got an answer. From Rodiah, Jim Thomas, Jim Orgas, and Michael Goldberg. This office, this is from Wall, McNeese, Wallace, and Murick. I'm told that they're perhaps the most expensive law firm in Harrisburg. 
Here's what it says. Mr. Vonder, I, this office represents Mid Penn. I must inform you that your recent conduct is of calling no less than nine times with no lawful purpose is a violation of the law. We demand that you immediately cease your unlawful behavior. In addition, you have entered onto a property without permission or lawful purpose and taken unauthorized photographs of its taxpayer supported, funded facilities and staff. Well, let's see about that footage. Was it unlawful without reasonable purpose? Hello. How are Hello. you today? How are you? Good. I'm doing a story on false accusations for Domestic Violence Month. And I'd like to know someone speak to me and I'd like... Further, we have also learned that you have engaged in stalking behaviors. Oh my God, how easy it is for them to use that word. How it rolls off their tongue. So automatically as well as following and harassing staff members in the office parking lot. I think not. Defamation. False accusations. All of these behaviors violate criminal law, if you say so. You are hereby put on notice that harassing or stalking behaviors, including photographing and video or audio recording, phone calls or trespassing, will subject you to prosecution to the fullest extent possible under the law. A copy of this letter is being provided to the Lancaster City Police Department. To further defame me. Well, in representations of myself and all the fathers who have been abused by being falsely accused, I say to you, I am not intimidated. You gender, racist, will be exposed. It's quite obvious. We've got you a tad nervous, don't we? If you arrest me for filming you on the street, if you get the Lancaster City Police to once again violate my civil rights on your behalf, which wouldn't be the first time they have done so on somebody's behalf, then not to worry. I believe there's another reporter that will come right up the alley. And he'll want to chat with you. And if you knock him out of the box, we'll see if we can't get some people from Washington who believe in free press down there from the press club. We'll see if we can get them up here and see if you want to arrest them for asking you questions on the street. By the way, why don't you just answer the question? I'll tell you what we'll do here. Let's call up Bobo, big shot lawyer, and let him know just how intimidated we are. You with me on this, folks? Oh yeah, I think you are. Let's go chat with Mr. Sean D. Henry. Because apparently, the rest of them got nothing to say. So what we have, I called up the people who fund MidPan and they told me basically they're accountable to themselves because they're a private Nonprofit corporations. So once they get the money from the government, nobody ever asks them anything. And they don't have to provide anything to anybody. They only have to be happy themselves. Oh, can I get some of that money? I start a corporation to help fathers. I'll start a private nonprofit corporation tomorrow. Can you give me a couple hundred thousand and then not ask me what I do with it, please? Peace, love, and macrame, tax dollars fly away. Daddy Justice, get in the phone. Have a good day, folks. You can bet your ass, I won't go quietly, making a noise.